All right, so today we're just going to be doing a VOD review of Conbox T6 versus Envious match in OG and Apex. I didn't get to see the game, so I don't have like necessarily a theme for this video. We're just going to watch the VOD and try to do a bit of analysis if we see some cool stuff. So anyway, let's go. Uh, first map, Nepal. Uh, Apex does this weird stuff where they always start with a control point. A best of three king of the hell which i don't like but that's like a whole other topic for another time but let's just start with this this match so convox they do a triple dive composition so you have one dive tank the winston and then two flankers the tracer genji and then they go with Saryas, who's pretty much always going to be there a lucio and the anna now it's kind of funny because ever since we've seen anna kind of come into the meta a lot of teams have been going towards the reinhardt even though on king of the hill like that's not something you used to see a whole lot but conbox decides not to go for that right they want the dive but they're still gonna have this anna in the back line so you know there is this question of how are you gonna protect her and um you know, as in Yada, he can discord targets, maybe 1v1 people. The Ana, yeah, maybe you can try, but it's not it's not as easy. Okay, on the side of Envious, so as I said, they go for Ryan. <coughs> they go for Ryan to kind of protect the backline a bit more. And they go for what is really nowadays the standard composition on payload maps of the May Reaper, of course, with the Zarya as off tank. So 2-2 two, two composition, we've seen this a whole lot. However, uh, it's not that common on King of the Hill maps, actually. It's really not. But on this part of Nepal, which is village, um, it does make a bit of sense because the May Wall is just really good at um, blocking off either the main choke point, uh, the main chokehold, or this kind of top area right here that they're going for. So, fight starts, Tailspin gets a good hit, apparently, on May. Alright. So they kind of just use the wall there to kind of cut people off, which meant that Combox didn't have everyone there at the same time. So instantly, Combox switches to this, which is the Reinhardt, add a Reaper in there. So they've gone away from their composition that was like a triple dive comp because why would you try to dive into the May, into the Reaper, into the Reinhardt, and you're just gonna get smashed, All right? Um, the Genji's not gonna have a good time, so they swap him out, and at that point, like, why would you? Why would you just dive with the Winston and the Tracer alone? So they're still keeping the Tracer. Um, however, however, they've gone for this Reaper and right now, now they're still going to be in trouble of the May wall, potentially. Tracer gets in, tries to harass the sports. Coco takes out Zumba. We didn't see that. Liz actually gets a pick on Tailspin, but it doesn't matter too much because... Most of his team's already dead. And Envy has actually only now captured the point, which is kind of interesting, because that, that initial push on the high ground, Conbox lost a few people, but Envy didn't, like, capture right away, right? So that means the people who were still alive on Conbox went back, regrouped with the early people that got picked, and they were still there in time to contest before the point actually opens which is kind of interesting now we see envious go for this high ground which is very very standard on uh the village this part of nepal because it gives you just great line of sight on either either the main choke over here or the door that's like right here which is the middle door or the kind of high ground that's on the right over there that we don't see right now okay now they actually swip out swap out the may 
for this Rodog. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Taimu was actually the one on Rodog when they played against Misfits in the finals of the um, Overwatch Open. And he uh, had actually like a really, really strong performance on Rodog. Uh, hooking uh, Tracer soon. Soon's Tracer, actually. Uh, quite a few times. But here, uh, they, I guess they want to keep the the reaper and i see this roadhog as kind of like a response to uh con box going for the rhine which gives you like additional pressure on the shield with the right click and also like if you get a good hook you can pot potentially uh negate the only flanker that con box now has that's interesting get rid of this there we go So see, see, this is like, this is pretty much what you see a lot on this map, and why it's it's not a super interesting maps because a uh, super interesting map because you have just this tiny opening that people are gonna go through because they they want to be on this high ground over here, right? And the best way to to get up here is is to go through this door. You could also come through this door, which is pretty much the same as this, right? Because it's, it's like the same room, but it's still not a very good choke you're still underneath like the team who is over here so it's not great and if you just come through main to get control of this you need to go all the way that way which is just not very good so you're just gonna have teams kind of during this whole this whole map just go through these tiny doors and kind of run into each other so this really gives an advantage to the team that's already in position right here okay so in terms of ultimates uh we only now have one ult which is the the earth shatter which in this meta is used a lot to counter like nano reapers because that's pretty much the only thing you can do um but the rest we don't we don't see too many ults right now you can see that the ana ults are pretty much at the same level so that's not going to factor in uh too soon <clears throat> yeah, here we see the the, the Rodog's ability to pressure shields come into effect. Gamsu falls pretty pretty quickly because his shield just goes down. Now we did we did see a nano there. We did see instantly a nano on the Reaper. Even though he doesn't have his ultimate yet, you can just nano Reaper and do like a crazy amount of damage. And because he's doing more damage, he's gonna charge his ult faster, right? So just the, this early nano on like whoever just to try to do damage and try to make a push is, is pretty good. And this actually lost uh, chips to Liz's Tracer. <clears throat> And Tailspin takes down Tracer. Okay. So because Chips died, they weren't able to use the Nano right away. But by because Time is just doing a lot of damage, he ends up uh, getting his ult off. And just using it right away to win this fight. So now it's just kind of clean up time. Okay, now now a thing a thing that okay before before we see this combo coming up, um, a thing that we see Conbox do here is that they're not just going for the point during this entire fight, which is actually like which is actually good, right? Because so many people kind of tunnel vision on oh my god they have the point we need to go contest it we need to take it back when really your 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 goal. Uh, on points like these should be to win the fight which gives you control of the high ground and then like control of the point right and <clears throat> if you get someone on the point and start like ticking it towards like your side it's not going to matter anyway they're going to come in time to contest it and you're going to be limited to this this very awkward space that is the the capture point on village so trying to win the fight here is actually not a bad idea. Now I don't like this Graviton, obviously, because like already a lot of people are just dead. Right? Your tank just died. 
your uh, Anna just died. But Zumba uses Graviton, kind of like a YOLO Graviton, like, oh, I'm, I might die, so let's just use it. All right, so I don't know like if the call is a problem there, but I don't see any real follow-up from from Conbox, right? Maybe maybe it was this Reaper right here who's like, oh, I'm coming back, I'm coming back, I can damage, you can Graviton. And even though it's a decent Graviton with like three people in it, it's, you know, they just don't do anything out of it. Harry Hook dies. Doesn't matter too much because the rest of the team's here. And they're gonna go for a Graviton Nano Roadhog. And I think the sound barrier that we just saw from Combox was a bit too early. So as soon as it times out, we see uh, Internet Hulk gets a good Graviton. And then the Nano Whole Hog just kind of wrecks everyone. Now they're just chasing to get more picks and stagger the, the respawns. And of course, once you win the fight, you go back to the high ground to take control of that. Hmm. It's, it's such... It's really hard to retake this point because with with the the team that has the point being on the high ground they have great view on that tiny opening on the right that we talked about that goes to the high ground but also because of this area where Taimu is right now like any person really going uh from main is just going to get dropped on by like whoever's up here and this it's just like a pretty typical reaper spot now he doesn't have ultimates on the side of con box we're going to have uh, three ults soon. We already have Tracer. We're gonna have Reaper. We're gonna have Anna pretty soon. We're gonna have this. Okay, so they have a lot to work with. But the question is, like, can they uh, stall it out enough? Like, yeah, just enough to to have those ults and then win a fight. Or is you know this this forced engage by him is gonna be able to take care of business? So Coco used uh, Earth Shatter day there. I'm not sure he got too much. But they're able to clean up and now you're at, i don't know if you can see that the bit rates kind of kind of shitty and the quality of this vod is not great but they're at 95 percent right so they're gonna pretty much lose a fight that's game so they end the game like you end where's my here we go Right, they just used it, but they're not in the fight, they were in spawn, so they're just using it to say, oh, well, we didn't end this map with with no ults, but uh, with ults that we didn't use in the previous fight, but yeah, that's exactly what they did. So, yeah. Pretty, um, pretty convincing stuff. It was 100 to 0 in terms of percentage on the points, so it, it didn't seem like they were really, uh, contested too much okay so this is the second map this is sanctuary sanctuary right yeah i think it is um i always confuse sanctuary and trying okay so compositions we have right off the bat the exact same comp by envious which is a three two so we have three tanks right here we have two supports and we add just a ream reaper in there for good measure right uh once again it's tailspin on the roadhog and not taimu on the side of conbox i guess they they are kind of uh, kind of predicting that envious is going to stay with the same comp so themselves are like well i guess our comp is just like we're just going to stick to that which i don't think the comp is an issue right i I don't think. Like, it's not because Envious has a bunch of tanks that you're just all of a sudden going to go for Zenyatta, especially if you, like, you don't play Zenyatta, which I don't think... It doesn't seem like Combox does. It, it seems like they're really only going for this Anna Lucio uh, support combo. Anyway, let's go. First engage. Oh, so, this map. Let's... Let's see if I can get at least like some 
decent point of view. Okay, let's just wait. Okay, the, the map is kind of interesting because you have this this point that's in the middle and of course there's this gap where you can fall and there's an inside room uh to the left if you're a con box here and then there's this kind of like open area with some columns on the right okay and because of that you have this point that's in the middle that it's actually kind of risky to stay on so what you're going to see is a lot of teams kind of choose a side of where they want to go. Do they want to go inside? Do they want to go like right side, tiny high ground? And they kind of rotate uh, around the point, not actually going on the point at first and try to find a fight, right? So you can have two teams choose kind of like the same side and kind of bat battle it out either on the inside or on this kind of uh, slightly, slightly high ground, right? Or sometimes teams choose the opposite and they just end up rotating and kind of switching places, right? And until someone kind of finds an actual fight, you get these kind of weird scenarios sometimes. Like here, we don't have like any McCrees or soldiers or, or that kind of thing. But when that was in the meta, you'd have these people kind of rotating around each other, not not like actually engaging a fight, just trying to like pick people off from a distance. So it's it's kind of an interesting map. It's also one of the rare maps on King of the Hill where sometimes uh, you could see a junk rat, junk rat pop up. But of course, like with the meta being so much focused on Ana, like junk rats, uh, kind of pokey damage doesn't make a lot, a whole lot of sense. So here, both both teams choose this. This is actually a great view. I should have said that. With this view. So the point is here inside room over here right which is this thing and here we have these kind of columns with this kind of like high ground but like this okay and here of course in the middle there's this gap there that you don't want to fall in <clears throat> and so you can have like your road hook road hog kind of picking uh hooking people who are on the point into this uh gap which is what you need to be careful of here both teams uh kind of see each other you can see uh in the two windows that are in the first room so you can kind of get a sense of where the team's going and here both teams decide to go for this side decide this side while wow, doing rhymes okay so two reinhardt shields there's not much space which means the tracer is gonna want to go either around like this to get like behind the shield or maybe the tracer she, she's right liz is right here by the way okay or the tracer has to blink in to be behind and then like turn around and start shooting people in the back but that's kind of risky or you can also go outside this way and you can blink across to the door that's that's behind us right now that's another possibility right but you have these two shields front to front that are just gonna try to take shields down which is where the roadhog can be really useful ah there we go so that's what liz decides to do he kind of blinked instead of blinking through this way he kind of jumped up here and then blinked over here right to have access to the sports right here and then in the back over there but he's kind of alone, right? Remember what we said about dive comps, right? It was initially a triple dive that they had with the Genji that was here instead of the Reaper and the Monkey. Here, Liz is alone, right? It's really just a, a single kind of flanker composition. So any, and he gets hooked, right? So like, he doesn't have much support here when he's doing that thing. And the risk obviously is to get hooked by the Roadhog good good hook by tailspin and then once that threat is kind of dealt with well you just have numbers basically right they have six they have five so you have the advantage and you can just kind of shove them in right so con box is being really careful right now and they should obviously because they're one down so they've won the initial fight they're going to be able to move towards the point, capture it, and 
my guess would be that they're not going to stay on the point because no no team does that they're going to push up okay this map also has this this kind of crazy choke point you you do have two two flanks on on well one on each side but a lot of teams try to go through this main door and that's really where you can get in, in trouble and get like your whole team gravitoned or you know had they gone for the may on this map there, that's also quite a few doors that you can uh get walled off i, I want to see that again um so combox gets a nano because of the poke that was uh exchanged nano reaper of course is like pretty much all of the meta right now and has been for like quite a few weeks of course like people call it Bay beyblade because of the nano like death blossom um and one of the person responsible for dealing with that is going to be your reiner and that's the reason why he's really being used on a lot of those king of the hill because you have earth shatter to stun or you can go for a charge and this is a actually a great charge by coco right here because it completely negates uh the reaper now he trades his life for it but they get the nano reaper So now Zumba did Zumba ult? No, that was Envious. Wait, what? There's a weird graviton. Alright, so Coco died, he's running back from spawn. Envious has nano, but they're not willing to use it right now. They don't think they need it. Probably they don't. They get some picks, so they clean up, and they've held for now. Seems like Conbox doesn't really know how to approach this point. This kind of how to retake. Okay, we see the Graviton. Good, good hook by tailspin i don't know he didn't fall i guess but internet hulk does kill him taibu wins the duel with myunhoon myunhoon yeah myunhoon now once again they just have numbers because of the early picks i think in this situation where when you're really struggling to retake a point like that Taimu Blossoms, okay. Standard. Um, when you're having trouble kind of doing retakes on these points, you have to be willing to do dry pushes to just charge ults and then save like six ults. And Conbox is not really trying to do that, right? You know, they, they did random Graviton alone. They used a, a random Nano alone, right? And now my guess would be, yeah, they're just going to lose 100 to 0. Most likely now they just don't have the resources to compete same same combo we saw on the previous map so graviton plus nano plus whole hog it's really really high damage combo and there we go so overall better ult management by envious a uh, better sense of where to position on the map and because of that, like, we didn't even see Envious really attack the points, right? They, they just initially won the first fight to control the point, controlled, like, whatever high ground or side they wanted to, like, control, and they just kind of close out the first map. Now, a as I said, like, this is, yeah, it's the best of three, which which I don't like, because mm, it's just too short. It's just, they just played two out of the three maps, and that's it, like, they get a point, but whatever whatever